I popped into Hamish Scott's workshop on his farm near Staterheim in South Africa to get a lesson on the art of wood lamination. I asked Hamish why he used the lamination technique. Uh, there are a number of reasons why you would want to laminate wood. I mean, the one is to, to get a shape into the wood, which is what we've done a lot of here. Uh, the other would be to make it stronger, to increase the quality of the, of the wood, uh, to, to be able to hide bad looking wood. But generally it's a, it's a strength thing and, and to get shape. That's the main reason we do it here, is to actually uh, bend wood into shapes which you wouldn't able, be able to do otherwise. That's a nice one, we'll put that on the inside. That's a nasty one. And that's a nice one, we'll put that on the outside, we'll put that on the inside. In our uh, workshop environment here, we're really trying to get shape into the wood. We can hide the ugly piece of wood between two nice bits of wood and be able to use it in furniture, for example. And the glue doesn't harm your finger? Not yet. <laughs> we use fingers here. <laughs> so you put the glue on the one side, rub it, make it smooth, Just and, make sure that it's covered. and then you put okay. the, the unglued side against the yeah. previous glued one. That's right. So now there is our other side. We've got them two good sides together. Let's get some clamps. So you'll see that I started clamping in the middle and worked towards the outside. That's because as the wood uh, is bent, the, the individual pieces slide against each other. And that's actually what stops it from going back to its original position, is that movement. Hmm. So it's quite important to get let, it, let the wood slide. So I started in the middle and moved towards the outside. You got quite a lot of clamps on that piece of wood. Is that the standard sort of thing? Lots you can, of clamps. You can never have too many clamps. <laughs> so the next one we'll look at is the back of a chair that we've been making. So this is an old piece of wood, as you can see a very old piece of wood. That we, put a, we, we plotted this on the computer, stuck it onto here and just cut it with a bandsaw. That's now given us the shape that we're looking for. Now, now for that we're going to need quite thin timber because those are, it's a double curve. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll use these, which is bits of spruce, and we'll have to plane them down or thickness them down to something in the region of six millimeters, I would think. So we've now thickness these down to about four and a half millimeters. And so we'll try those. There are techniques where they steam wood, um, but that needs equipment, it also needs time, uh, and we find that this method works very well for us. I think we can, we can make it work, yes. They're not cracking, and I can squeeze this thing together more or less. So now I have a look at the timber to see which, which piece looks nice. You think there's an ugly piece, it's uh, got holes in it, and it's got a knot, so that will go in the middle. This piece, which is the best side of that, that looks the best side, so we'll put that inwards. And then that one, then this one, that's probably the best side there. So we'll put, put that like that. So that's the way we'll do it. And can you laminate any wood? Is a special, do you need certain woods? Uh, yeah, I, I don't see any reason why. Uh, if the glue will stick to it, there's no reason why. That looks like enough. So that goes there, that goes there, and this one goes there. You can use any glue, really. I think the, the, the professionals use fairly rigid glues. We don't really have access to those. So I like to use just an ordinary cold glue. Why are you doing that from the other side? Just to get the, so the handles don't get in the way. So you put quite a few clamps on, on here as well. 
Yes, not as many as the other method because we've got this big piece of wood here which is squeezing it in and spreading the load. But that's enough. I mean, that's five. I think that's for this is good enough. And that's ready. We just leave it now until it's, um, until it's cured. And how long does the glue take to dry? Well, it depends upon the glue. But, I mean, the uh, manufacturers say that you should give it somewhere between half an hour and two hours, depending upon the glue you use. Uh, but we like to leave it uh, a day, if possible, just to make sure that it's very well dry. Because that shape uh, requires a good, strong uh, bond, and you don't want it moving. And once the glue is dry, well, how do you finish the piece of wood? Well, you unclamp it and then finish it depending upon what you're going to use the, the, the product for. Uh, clean it up, plane the sides, sandpaper it, route it, whatever you're going to be uh, needing. This is made of oak, uh, which is fairly hard and brittle in comparison to some of the other timbers we've used. The, the laminations were quite thin, and the way I did it was to just try it. I broke a number of them and then just keep making it thinner until it bends nicely. Some and woods are just too hard to... Some woods are just more brittle and harder, some are more... Also when you've got knots in them, they will crack at the knot. So the thickness of the, of the laminations uh, depends upon the type of wood and the and the curvature obviously a nice flat curvature is much easier than something like that which is quite a, um, a small radius this has been a fascinating experience for me i've been very fortunate to spend some time with hamish and to see how a master craftsman uses lamination to shape and strengthen wood If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video.